Welcome to the Turton Geography video channel. This is part of the Geography Through Diagram series and today this video is looking at coastal features and how to draw the features of a rocky headland. So before we get started it's worthwhile looking at the reason why we sometimes draw diagrams. Uh, there's lots of things to remember in geography and the brain finds it hard to remember just simple words but if you stick a picture with it it's much much easier for you to recall the information so drawing a picture of your diagram along with the words you need to learn may well help you remember the particular things you need to especially in the exam situation where you might be a bit stressed so let's get started Remember, whenever you're drawing a diagram, always start with a box. This allows you to structure your diagram in such a way that the words can be read and it's not all crushed up in the corner of the page. So we're going to start by drawing a headland, a piece of rock extending out into the sea. And just to show it's the sea, we'll put a few waves in the bottom. And there they go, a few waves to make it look like it's a sea. I'm going to start off with some vertical joints and these get attacked by hydraulic action, wave pounding and abrasion to get deepened into cracks and caves and then arches. So we're drawing those now and we'll label them in a bit. At the base of the headland there's a dark area, the intertidal zone which is usually covered with cyanobacteria, blue green algae. We're also going to draw a, a stump there and our other feature which is an, a stack which used to be attached to the headland by another arch. Let's draw in some joints and some bedding planes onto the rock and put in the horizon including the bit we can see through the cave. A bit of shading on the top just to show some texture and some seabirds. Now we're going to label the various features. There's our crack that's going to be widened by wave pounding and abrasion to form a cave. And then over time, the two caves will join back to back to form an arch. And then we can see our stack will be formed at the end of the headland and our stump. Now we want to add some extra information here. We can show how the stack was formed from an arch. So the dotted line labelled nice and neatly shows how the uh, archway used to be attached to the stack but then that's been weakened by sub aerial processes and of course has collapsed. So let's put some of the collapsed material on the wave cut platform underneath the collapsed arch and let's label it nice and clearly debris from the collapsed arch now on the wave cut platform. So our diagram is pretty much finished now so of course we've got to add a title, features of a rocky headland and underline it. So there we have it, there's our diagram with our labelled features. Next thing you need to do which is, of course is the best bit, you get to colour it in. 